Hey, in this video, I'm answering the question, do Oreo cookies lower your cholesterol levels? In particular, do they lower your LDL or bad cholesterol levels better than high intensity statin, which are cholesterol lowering drugs? Do they actually do it better than that? And the reason why I made this video is because there was actually a study published in the journal Metabolites, January 2024, by two authors, Norowitz and William Cromwell. William Cromwell is actually one of the top lipid researchers out there uh, you know, in the world. And they looked in detail at this question. And what they found was that actually the Oreo cookies, now I'm not endorsing eating Oreos, but they found the Oreo cookies significantly lowered overall LDL cholesterol as opposed to high intensity statin drugs. And I'm gonna explain that in detail. One caveat before I go into it, I don't endorse eating Oreo cookies. They're obviously high in chemicals, high in processed sugar, high in damaged fats. They're gonna drive up oxidative stress. They're not healthy for the body. But what was interesting was the researchers here wanted to look at what happens when you consume, when you're, when you're on a low carbohydrate, high fat diet, and you have high LDL. In fact, there's a, a class of people called lean mass hyper responders. And Norowitz, the, one of the scientists that looked at this, he's actually one of them. And so this study was done on him. And what he did was he tested his LDL cholesterol beforehand while he was on a ketogenic diet, and it was at 384 milligrams per deciliter. Very, very high. And he's in this, again, lean mass hyper responder group. And the way that we know this lean mass hyper responder group is they tend to have very, very low BMI, body mass index, or very lean. I'm actually in this group as well. So we're very, very lean, low body fat percentage, typically good amount of muscle tissue. And when we go on a low carb diet, a couple things happen. Our LDL goes way up, kind of like this. His was at 384. Triglycerides go down. So they're actually typically 70 or less. And HDL, which is considered the good cholesterol, goes up. It's usually around 80 or more. And so their triglyceride to HDL ratio, which I'm gonna come back to at the end of this video, is typically one or less, which is actually a sign of very, very healthy, insulin-sensitive individual. But their LDL is way up. So they, they look and all their labs show that they're very metabolically healthy. However, they're LDL particles are way, are skyrocketingly high to where any cardiologist is gonna be really, really concerned. If you were to walk in, your LDL is 384, right? They're gonna to wanna to put you on a statin medication right away. In fact, actually, um, you know, Norowitz talks about how his doctor did wanna put him on a statin drug for a long time. And in this study, he actually went on a statin drug for a period of time, for three months. And so let's look at the findings here. What he did was originally he got his blood work done he had, his LDL cholesterol was 384. He did 16 days of Oreo, so he didn't change his diet other than he added 12 Oreo cookies, basically a sheet of Oreo cookies, which was equivalent to 100 grams of added sugar and in general, just a whole lot more calories to his diet, but 100 grams of carbohydrates to his diet. And he ate that every single day for 16 days, got his blood drawn again, and it dropped his LDL cholesterol to 111 milligrams per deciliter, which was a 71% reduction just by consuming the Oreos. It's the only thing that he changed in his diet. Then he did a three month washout period. And so what that meant was he went back on a very low carbohydrate ketogenic diet for three months, retested, redid his blood work, and his LDL cholesterol went up to 421 milligrams per deciliter, so skyrocketingly high again. Then he went on a intense regimen of Crestor, a very popular cholesterol-lowering medication. He did 20 milligrams, which is a, actually a very high dose of Crestor, and it reduces cholesterol by 32%. So it actually brought it down to 284. So from 421 to 284, 32%. So what that study demonstrated was that 16 days of eating 12 Oreo cookies a day actually significantly lowered his LDL cholesterol, considered the bad cholesterol more than when he actually went on a statin medication following you know, the, the same diet principles other than he didn't add in the Oreos. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that in people who are metabolically fit, looking at overall LDL particle, total LDL particles, is not a good measurement of somebody's health. In fact, when somebody is very, very metabolically fit, 
They're gonna have more, typically more LDL cholesterol when they're eating a high fat, lower carbohydrate diet. That's because the body is trying to shunt around fatty acids, using them for energy, restructuring cell membranes, and so what ends up happening is triglycerides are used up and the very low density lipoproteins are turned into low density lipoproteins. And this is all part of what we call the lipid energy model hypothesis. And so this is this idea that, again, as people are getting better at burning fat for fuel, more metabolically flexible, because they're eating a low carbohydrate diet and they're very metabolically fit in general, that as opposed to somebody who's on a mixed diet that perhaps has insulin resistance, that their LDL particles will go up and that's all part of this kind of transient approach to the body shunting things around in order to burn fat more effectively for fuel. So, you know, cardiologists for years, many most medical doctors have been trained to look at overall LDL particles and based on that number, like for example, if your number is, you know, up over 200, up over 150, they're saying, okay, you're at an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. But when it comes to these lean mass hyper responders following a low carbohydrate diet, we really, you know, the, the, the findings in this study show that that is not um, adequate, right? Understanding, looking at L, just LDL particles alone is not adequate. We really need to look at your fasting insulin levels. We need to look at overall, overall markers of oxidative stress and inflammation to really get a better picture of what's happening when it comes to your overall arterial health, your cardiovascular health. And so, again, this study looks at uh, looked at Oreo cookies, and it showed that Oreo cookies, just 16 days of consuming 12 Oreo cookies, reduced this gentleman's LDL cholesterol by 72%, more than any statin drug has ever been shown in any study to lower cholesterol. And so that should get your attention. That's why I wanted to create this video. Um, again, I'm not endorsing eating Oreo cookies. I don't believe they're a part of any sort of healthy diet. Um, however, if you are on a low carbohydrate diet, you notice that your cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol is very high, okay? But your inflammatory markers, your C-reactive protein, your triglycerides, your fasting insulin are all good. Don't get overly concerned. And you can do an experiment before your next round of blood work. Pick out some of your favorite carbs. Maybe they're fruit. Like for me, I love strawberries. I love potatoes, right? Some healthier carbohydrates that have more nutrients in them, fruit, root vegetables, and consume more of them. Consume another 100 to 150 grams of carbs for let's say two weeks before you get the blood work done and then see what happens to your LDL. Chances are it'll actually come down. So if that's you, try that out, see how that works for you. And the, ultimately the results of this study show that again, we need to rethink what we're doing when it comes to LDL cholesterol, in particular, when we're seeing a triglyceride HDL ratio that's one or less. When your triglycerides are real high, along with high LDL and low HDL, we call that the terrible triad. High LDL, high triglycerides, low HDL, terrible triad. We know that that's linked with poor metabolic health with increased risk of cardiovascular disease. However, if we just see high LDL, but we see good, normal to healthy HDL levels, normal to healthy or normal to low levels of triglycerides, that's a sign of better metabolic health, and therefore the high LDL particles may not be a concern. It's something we need to do further investigation into. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on a future online training. Be blessed. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel, browse the various videos that I've done on similar topics, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button, that way you get notified whenever I put up a new video training. Thanks so much for being a part of our community here, and I really hope you enjoy the videos that we're putting out on a regular basis. Be blessed.